Hello everyone, welcome to day eight. I think, are we on day seven or day eight? We're starting a new week. We're starting week two of the isolation diaries. As of yesterday, we've got a full week of self-isolation, which is very, uh, I was gonna say exciting, but exciting is <laughs> really not the word. Got up this morning, put my cozies on, uh, made a cup of tea, obviously, if you follow me over on Instagram. So many of you guys. I think if you're not British, you don't really get the whole tea thing, but we drink a lot of tea, and basically tea has been fueling my existence, to be quite honest with you, over the last week. Um, so I made a cup of tea, put another load of washing on. I've got that outside drying in the sunshine, because as you can see, it's a beautiful day today. And now I am here to show you guys some clothes in storage tubs, because for those of you who watched, and I can't remember the title of the video, I think it was something along the lines of why I minimised my wardrobe or a tour of my new minimised wardrobe, something along those lines. But basically, for any of you who haven't seen it, we'll leave a link down below in the description box and there's an I button somewhere up here. Um, but basically, for any of you who didn't watch it, I minimised my wardrobes obviously, when we did our house renovation, which we're kind of still in the midst of, but we've done all the big stuff, so we're just waiting to get furniture, which obviously now we can't really get because we can't go furniture shopping. Anyway, I've gone off track. I minimised my wardrobe into just these beasts that you see behind me. I used to have stuff in Simon's wardrobe, but Simon got his own new wardrobe, and then I didn't want to take that over. Now, lots of you really gave it to me in the neck <laughs> that I didn't show you guys how I actually minimised my wardrobe and what I decided to keep and not keep. So today, I'm going to venture up in the loft and I'm going to show you guys what I decided to veto from my wardrobe and why. Right, so I've just been up in the loft and I have got down these three giant storage tubs of which contain most of what I vetoed. There was a little bit more up there, but it was kind of integrated in with some of my spring summer boxes. So when I do that switch over, if I come across anything that had kind of come out during the autumn winter cleanse, I will show you. So first box is accessories. It's probably worth me saying that I will be selling these, but you guys will probably be quite, well, I don't know, maybe some of you would be surprised to see some of the bags that I vetoed. Gucci Dionysus was one, um, purely for the fact that I just don't wear it anymore. It's a real shame. I had so much wear out of this bag and I just don't wear it anymore. So it just seems a bit redundant to keep it in my wardrobe when it's not being worn and it can go to a better home and then I can reinvest that money back into my wardrobe on something that I will actually wear. So the Dionysus is going and as is this, and this was quite painful for me to let go. This is my Chloe Faye. That was like my first big purchase, first designer handbag purchase, if you will, as a blogger, like when the blog started taking off, so to speak, when I started earning actual money from doing this. Um, here I have, I think I might do a giveaway with this one actually, because this is the curated bag, but this was the first one that they brought out, and since then, Nicole has actually sent me the newer version of this, which is identical, but it's kind of had all the modifications done, which if anyone watched my review of this bag, you'd have seen that I kind of mentioned a few points here and there. Then in here I have some shoes, which are actually a little bit dusty. Um, so I have a pair of Vajas here. These I decided to cleanse. If you watch my Vajas video, you would have seen that I actually have two of the exact same pair. This is the smaller size, which is why they're in here. I've also got some loafers in here, Everlane and Todd's. Um, reasons for vetoing all this kind of stuff is basically just fit and comfort and a lot of things in here I have um, like another pair of Gucci loafers in here, these are the velvet ones, a lot of these things I maybe bought in the wrong size or bought in a size that fit me when I bought them 
but then after the marathon my feet were literally wrecked um, so things like this which I actually bought in a size 7 they no longer fit comfortably um, so that's pretty much it for like shoes and things so I'm going to move on to the next tub so in here I have this looks like the majority is coats um, so for anyone that remembers back in the day, it wasn't actually that long ago, but most of my coats, in fact all of my coats, used to be in one half of Simon's wardrobe. So that was the area which I think took the biggest hit and which I needed to cleanse a lot because I had well over 40 coats. Um, so I've got ones like this, which all of these coats, it's worth me mentioning, I love, but it was just a case of which ones do I love more? and I have to let them go. So this one from Jigsaw, this was a vintage blazer. Oh no, sorry, this is an Everlane blazer, but I kept the other color. So I had this in two colors, um, and the other color, which is a gray, actually suits me a lot better, but I do also have a vintage blazer, which looks very similar. So I've got another coat here from And Other Stories. And again, it just came down to trying on all my coats and deciding which ones we're gonna be the most worn and then any that are in here will eventually be sold. So I'll have a massive Depop session. So then I've got some other, um, so this is a weekday coat. It's a bit covered in fluff. Um, navy blue with a belt, but I actually have an And Other Stories navy blue belted coat. So this is what I mean. I had a lot of duplicates and although this is a slightly different shape and it's got buttons, I had to decide like which one I preferred and the most troublesome category was camel coats because I had probably about 10 camel coats and I decided to keep I think three two or three and um, so I have a few in here very sadly and I know a lot of you guys bought this on my recommendation and that's another thing to kind of mention it doesn't mean that because I've had to veto these things from my wardrobe it doesn't mean that they're you know naff quality or that I don't love them I do and it pained me quite a lot and actually it's probably a bit dangerous for me to be going through these boxes because I'll start picking stuff out and I'll be like oh actually but I don't have the space we're on a strict one in one out basis now but this was the famous alpaca mix and other stories coat which i got so much wear out of which is why i was kind of happy to let it go at this point but again it came down to the fact of i had so many camel coats i needed to be very ruthless and choose them wisely see i've got another camel coat here that was from the curated but again like the bag this was one of the earlier coats and I have since acquired or been sent the newest version of the exact same coat and that for me is like the holy mecca of camel cashmere coats. Got a green one here from Jigsaw, again really beautiful coat, absolutely stunning but this kind of colour, dark green, is really difficult to, to try and like match in with other outfits, which is why I looked at things and thought if they're not completely universal, they need to move on to a new home. And once more, another navy blue coat there, which again is another duplicate. Now, I move on to the final box. And in here, I have some knitwear and it looks like I've got some jeans. These are weekday voyage jeans, voyage, voyage, voyage jeans. Um, these were a really good pair of jeans. I wore these quite a lot last year, but then I discovered, or rather Arquette brought out their straight leg jeans in the full length, not the cropped length. I think they're called regular jeans and they just blew me out of the water i love them they fit like redone they fit like vintage levi's and they're proper denim which so are these but these i just find are a little bit wider on the leg and i prefer the slightly slimmer straight leg which is why they had to go these are iro leather these are real leather trousers the reason i got rid of those was because I can't do the button up, which also is a very good reason for removing things from your wardrobe. Um, these, I think, were a double up. These are Arquette jeans. 
And I think I actually, I don't know how I achieved this, but I had two pairs of those. So they needed to go. And surprise, surprise, well, I say surprise, surprise, you're probably not surprised at all because I have hundreds of blazers, or I did. But I had to veto some blazers. So this one is a checked wall blazer from Marge, and it is beautiful. But I had to do the same processes with the coats, with the jeans, with anything that I had like large numbers of. I had to just go through, see what was the most versatile, what fit the best, um, and what I felt that I would get the most wear out of and what would go with more things in my wardrobe. And as much as I love this blazer, and I still love this blazer, I just didn't have enough room to keep all of it. So these were <laughs> tough decisions that I had to make. Um, I've got some knitwear in here as well. This um, was an Arquette jumper, which I wore a few times around the house, but I actually found that it didn't keep me that warm because it has a really, it's not quite a scoop neck, but it has a lower neck and I just prefer something a little bit chunkier around the neck. And also because I use this like fake tanning stuff, it's like a gel that you mix in with your moisturiser on your face. Um, I don't always put it all the way down my neck, so if I have a higher jumper I can get away with it. But with that, I just ended up with like this white ring, so that had to go. Got an oversized blazer here from And Other Stories. Again, just because I had duplicates. Got another pair of, I think these are faux leather. These are like um, faux leather leggings. I believe these were from All Saints. And I just don't feel that those particularly fit in with my style anymore, which is why they went. Um, and then I just have a few sort of different bits and bobs in here, some jeans, which I don't particularly like the fit of, hence why. And this really annoys me when I do this, if I buy something and I forget about it, which I have trained myself to kind of not do as much as what I used to, but these ones obviously slip through the net. Um, and those were something which I bought and never obviously wore and forgot to return, which is so bad. I now have a designated area where if I make an online order, if I go and buy something from a shop, I hate trying things on. I'll make sure that I put it in a specific area, which is my returns area, so that I'm not wasting stuff. But they can be sold and they can go on to a new home, so it's not complete loss. Got some more coats here, but I'm also thinking ahead in terms of like, okay, so I have these now. Because of my job, I do get new things. So I just need to make sure that my wardrobe is kind of continuously moving in the, like a little circle of life and so that I am detoxing things and finding new homes for them because I know next season I will get new things. Not a massive amount, but it is inevitable that I'll get new things. So if I don't, you know, if, if it's something that I can't live without, then obviously I will keep it. But if it's things like this, which, you know, I would kind of wear every now and then, like every couple of weeks or so, or once a month even, then I think that needs to go to a much better home than I can provide. This might shock people. This is an Anina Bing blazer, and I bang on about her blazers all the time. But this I actually find to be... It's a really good colour, but I find that it's a slightly difficult colour, like... Yeah, like I don't particularly feel like it goes with what I'm wearing at the moment. Probably with just the jeans, but it's obviously not meshing with the t-shirt. I just find because of the red, and the check is actually navy, so I just find it more tricky to match with things in comparison to the other Anina Bing blazers, which I did decide to keep. So this one, unfortunately, has had to be vetoed. And then I have some knitwear here. So I've got um, this jumper, which I think is from Cezanne. Um, and this does still have the tag on it, which is another thing, which I'm like, Ugh! but I missed the return date on this. And the reason that I'm getting rid of this one is actually because this is a bit too itchy for my skin. I don't normally suffer from like irritation from knitwear, but with this particular jumper, I do, hence why it's off to a new home. Um, a little cashmere number here with a little slogan on it. This is from Shinty and Parker. I do really like it, but I prefer plain rather than slogans. So that's why that's going. And that 
is pretty much it. Now, if anyone wants to see, like, during these isolation vlogs, what I have decided to keep, because I know I gave you guys a tour in that previous video that I was talking about earlier, but if you want me to go through in detail, like, what I kept and why, and maybe even, like, putting together some outfits with all those basic pieces which I kept, then let me know in the usual place, which is down in the comments section. <sighs> Face mask time. Even though, admittedly, I haven't actually done anything today, aside from show you guys what I decided to cleanse from my wardrobe. <laughs> but do you know what? Sometimes we need those days where you just don't do a great deal. Tomorrow, Disney Plus is out, and I am massively excited. Um, we've been Googling and we know we've got to update the box. So we're going to update the sky box and then wait in anticipation for the app to come on tomorrow morning. Anyway, I'm rambling. I am going to sit here with my face mask, which, just in case anyone's wondering, because I have a feeling people will ask, is called Versed, or it's by a brand, sorry, called Versed, which is vegan, cruelty-free, free of parabens, dyes, all of the bad nasty stuff basically um, and this is the brightening and tightening mask so i'm gonna sit here for 15 minutes and stew in this and then once this is rinsed off i'm gonna be like 10 years old again winning so thank you very much for tuning in today i hope you're all still in good spirits and yeah i will see you all tomorrow <laughs>